begin tonight at 11 with breaking news out of Riverside where a family was murdered and police say it began with online catfishing from across the country. A man pretending to be someone else with the intent of sexually exploiting a teenage girl and it turns out the murderer was a cop. That new information in that triple murder case is horrifying. The killer dead after a wild shootout with deputies in a Mojave Desert ghost town. I'm Jory Rand. I'm Michelle Fisher. This is Eyewitness News at 11. We can tell you the teenage girl who was with the killer is safe tonight. Eyewitness News reporter Amy Powell live as we get a clear picture of how this unthinkable crime all unfolded. Amy. Michelle and Jory, it's very disturbing. Police say this triple homicide was committed by a predator who developed an online relationship with a teenage girl, then traveled across the cal country to California, killing her mother and grandparents. Chilling new details about the murders of Mark Winnick and Sherry Winnick, both in their 60s, and their 38-year-old daughter, Brooke. The bodies found Friday morning after a fire broke out in their Riverside home. Around the same time, police officers were dispatched to do a welfare check after a girl who appeared distressed was seen getting into a red Kia with a man near the family's home. Detectives have identified that man as 28-year-old Austin Lee Edwards of North Chesterfield, Virginia. We had, you know, a grandmother, a grandfather, and a mother of this teen murdered. Uh, by this suspect who who travels from across the country um, for most likely would be the sexual exploitation of this teenager. Police believe Edwards lured Brooke Winnick's teenage daughter into an online relationship. What happened here in terms of the catfishing, as they call it, uh, that common practice of uh, you know, online deception where you're pretending to be someone else. Detectives say Edwards, who recently worked for the Virginia State Police, traveled from Virginia to Riverside and parked near the Winnicks' home. They believe he murdered her family before leaving with the teen. Hours later, his vehicle was spotted in San Bernardino County in the area of Kelso. Investigators say Edwards was killed during a gun battle after firing shots at deputies. The teenager was not injured. This is just a very uh, a tragic example of how dangerous those interactions can be. Devastated neighbors and relatives mourning the deaths of the family members during a candlelight vigil. I just want everybody to know how loving they were. And they don't deserve this. Police are still looking into Edward's law enforcement background. Now we reached out to the family and they say they may make a statement on these new developments tomorrow. In this day and age, qualified immunity remains one of the deadliest threats to U.S. citizens. There is no doubt, and as witnessed daily, that as long as police officers in our uncivilized nation are encouraged to murder without consequences, we can expect no improvements to our life expectancy. According to the United States National Academy of Sciences, and I quote, Police in the United States kill far more people than do police in other advanced industrial democracies. To date, Colorado, New Mexico, and New York have repealed qualified immunity, and we remain hopeful that in the near future, serial killers with badges will be held accountable for the unreasonable execution of citizens. Furthermore, the Academy of Sciences additionally says, journalists have stepped into this void and initiated a series of systematic efforts to track police-involved killings. And I bid to you, my fellow citizens, that this rampage of certified murders must be stopped for the safety of our children, handicapped, and veterans. Please support the new Institute for Justice and their Americans Against Qualified Immunity campaign. Check them out at www.aaqi.com. You'll also find them on Facebook and Twitter. That's Americans Against Qualified Immunity. That's all for now, my brothers and sisters. Stay safe and always film the police.